You know, many of you are asking, how do we get to this point and how do we get there so quickly? Yeah, CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us with what we know and what is expected to happen next. Russ. Yeah, it all comes down to a cyber attack by a criminal group in Eastern Europe called Darkside that took control over Colonial's pipeline. And I mean control. That pipeline feeds into the fuel terminal in Greensboro, and that's where most of us get our fuel from. Now, Colonial says it hopes to start operations late today. That is assuming they actually pay the ransom and that Darkside at that that point releases control back to Colonial. Now, if they are able to get things running again, the U.S. Department of Energy says it could take several days for things to get back on track for all of us. Now, to help ease this problem, President Biden has lifted the requirement for summer grade fuel. It's dinner, different than winter. Governor Cooper has declared a state of emergency as well, as we mentioned at the top of this newscast. He's also spoken to the U.S. Department of uh, Secretary, uh, the Secretary of the Department of Energy about this very issue, staying on top of it with her as well. We can't say this enough though. Governor Cooper said it. Our reporters in the field said it. We've seen people do this. Drivers urged not to buy extra gas. You're making it worse. Pop off their tanks. Don't do it. Don't buy and transport it in containers. It doesn't help us to get back on track, guys.